in the interest of full disclosure, we'll begin our official first drive review of the 2017 Chevrolet Camaro V6 One Le by admitting that this is not actually our first drive of the 2017 Chevrolet Camaro V6 One Le. That happened during the 2016 Lightning Lap competition, where the six-cylinder Camaro One Le and the V8-powered Camaro SS One Le not only showed up, but showed up their much pricier competition at America's toughest track, Virginia International Raceway. But this is our first experience with the car in a more normal setting, sans helmet and on public roads, specifically, the vast and seemingly unending roads of Southern Nevada and California's Death Valley. To the track, Jack. For anyone who missed class on Camaro Day this year, the Camaro One La performance package was extended to both V6 and V8 Camaros for 2017, bringing enhanced engine cooling, a retuned suspension, a limited slip differential, Brembo brake components, 20-inch forged aluminum wheels, and various interior and exterior modifications, all with the singular aim of making mince meat of a road course on track day and looking utterly badass while doing so. At lightning lap, we couldn't praise the one less grip enough. Riding on a suspension largely cribbed from the SS Dan Taylor to the V6S slighter and slightly more evenly distributed weight, the thing just sticks in corners. Chevy claims that the one was 245-40ZR20 front and 275-35ZR20 rear Gunnier Eagle F1 asymmetric 3 run-on flat tires can hold on to curves to the tune of 0.97 grams, but we've seen 0.98 grams in a heavier V8 Camaro with those same tires, our long-term Camaro SS, so don't be surprised if Chevrolet's claim turns out to be conservative once we test the car ourselves. Meanwhile, in the real world. But the one Liz talent set includes far more than driving in circles and connecting apexes on a track. In the real world, the one Liz ability to track through a bend utterly impervious to any lumps in the asphalt, buckled pavement, or wobbly camera changes is remarkable. The steering is weighty and immediate, serving up loads of feedback through the micro suede wrapped wheel thus keeping the driver ever aware of exactly what kind of ground the car is covering. As we found at Verb, this one's limits are very high, and it takes a bit of time behind the wheel to comfortably understand where they are. Once understood, however, the one is a grin machine. An occasional whiff of the benign understeer we noted during lightning lap returned, but only in our most heated moments. With a chassis this good, the one look can take most corners at more than double the posted speed recommendations and makes slowing down for some curves entirely optional. For those times that rapid slowdown indeed is required, the one was enhanced brakes, which include four piston Brembo calipers up front, slow the car down with zero hesitation. The body's general resistance to roll and dive helps keep all four wheels planted, allowing one to break deep into corners and the natural, progressive pedal action keeps the driver fully in charge of the event. 6 is less than 8. In both one Le models, the engine is left pretty much stock, hardly a problem with the SS's 6.2-liter V8, given its prodigious 455 horsepower and 455 pounds to foot of torque. But as we noted at Lightning Lap, the V6 model's weak spot is the V6 itself. With 335 horsepower at 6,800 revolutions per minute and 284 pounds to foot up to work at 5,300 revolutions per minute, the 3.6 liter 6 is the same smooth and revvy mill we've praised in other Camaros, but we're not so smitten with it in the Wandla. Why? Because it's a Wandla. The quickest manual equipped 2016 Camaro V6 we've tested hit 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds, with a quarter mile pass of 13.7 seconds at 103 miles per hour, which is hardly slow but is merely adequate by modern pony car standards. Even with the one less ability to hook up during launch and its wonderful short throw, six-speed manual shift are doing its part to facilitate faster gear changes, we'd be surprised to see the one less acceleration times dip below those of the base Camaro. Out in the desert just as on the track, the V6 simply didn't feel strong enough. 
After we carved a path through the trickiest switchbacks at superhero speeds, the road would straighten out and we'd floor the gas pedal, bracing for a bombastic launch into the faraway horizon and the action sequence would slow down. The engine would be working as hard as it could, but the slingshot never releases. The speedometer needle creeps ever so slowly up the dial, and you think, oh that's right, this one has a V6. At least it sounds good while you're caning it. It's worth noting, however, that few on the street will spend lots of time at or near its 5,300 revolution per minute to work and 6,800 revolution per minute horsepower peaks. When not in attack mode, the 3 dot success oral experience is more akin to a sports sedan than a pony car. The SS1 Liz Thundering V8 Rumble is exactly what this package wants, although you'll have to part with another $11,505 above the V6 1 Liz very agreeable base price of $32,895. That V6 figure is $4,500 more than the non Wanla version. The upcharge isn't a bad deal considering the comprehensiveness of the package. Jumping up to the second lieutenant trim level costs another $4,500, for a total of $37,395. At that point, you're nipping on the heels of a base Camaro SS, which starts at $37,900, although the base SS gets none of the one less track equipment nor its Swedelike steering wheel and short throw shifter. The SS would be quicker in a straight line and louder, however, and it's no slouch in the handling department, either. The Chevy guys think the V6 Wandla is so good that there may be a market for a four-cylinder version, reviewed by the Turbo Autax concept scene at the 2016 SEMA show. We're not so sure. Having experienced the V6 Wandla on the road as well as on the track, we're impressed with its insatiable hunger for corners, but while we'd like to say we didn't miss the V8's extra 120 horsepower and 171 pounds to foot of torque, we did. The 3.6 is a lovely engine that serves many General Motors vehicles well enough, including non wine V6 Camaros, but under this car's matte black hood, it feels like a placeholder for the real engine. So why offer the Wandla and V6 form? Clearly, the Wandla is at its best on the track, so maybe the best argument is that the $11,000 savings versus the SS version will buy you a whole lot of track days and plenty of replacement tires, 